So how far would you go to raise awareness for something you're passionate about? Our next guest has gone around the world, and he's preparing now to walk across New Zealand. Across the country, mm -hmm. right? Of New Zealand. Of New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. He joins us last year. Ryan Newburn, the straw hat backpacker, yeah. returns today. Good to see you, Ryan. Hi. Good to be back. Man, I'm last time we talked to you was about a year and a half ago, right? About and, a year and a half. And yeah. the journey, uh, your last journey, started uh, in uh, Japan. Yep. With uh, Satoshi's wedding. <laughs> Your buddy Satoshi, right? Just picking up where we left off. Satoshi's wedding. So, Satoshi's right? Satoshi's wedding, yep. Yeah, because you had a buddy over there got married. Tell yeah. us from there, where did you go? Well, after I spent about a week with Satoshi and his family, they were really lovely people. Um, and after that, yeah, I headed down to uh, the very southern tip, flew to uh, Kagoshima, the very southern island of, J of Japan, the very southern city of Japan. And I started my adventure at Cape Sata. Mm -hmm. And from Cape Sata, I started walking, spending a month crossing the southern island of Kyushu, mm -hmm. two months crossing the island of Honshu, and then another month and a half crossing the oh. island of Hokkaido. On foot. So. On foot. All on foot. So you must have seen some fantastic sights and met some wonderful people, but you the had best. challenges too. What were they? Oh man, well I'll tell you, when I first started I was completely inexperienced when it come to, came to like my gear and my equipment. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize that carrying 50 pounds of gear was going to absolutely break my oh, back when yeah. I first started walking. So I started walking and it was just painful for me, you know, like I had 50 pounds of gear and I was only able to do between 10 to 12 miles a day. Mm -hmm. I didn't properly train for that expedition, but through those mistakes, I slowly got better and better over time. Mm -hmm. And now I've learned from those mistakes and I'm grateful for them because without them, I would be probably be carrying yeah. another 50 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've got the new backpack, right? This is for yep. your next trip? Yep. This is the new backpack I'm carrying. I've adjusted my equipment to all ultralight gear, mm -hmm. so I've adjusted my tent. My tent was four pounds before, and now it's two pounds. you got a giraffe. Pounds. Okay, we're looking at <laughs> it. So what's the story with the giraffe? This is Mr. Frodo. Mr. Frodo walked across Japan with me. He's going to walk across New Zealand with me. Uh -huh. We got the ring of power right here. Well, what's the story <laughs> with Mr. Frodo? Well, I mean, that, where'd you find him Where's at? the reference for our viewers who aren't <laughs> dialed in? Mr. Frodo from Lord of the Rings, you uh -huh. know, he was given to me at the airport by a dear friend of mine. and. I was just, I've just been traveling He's with them ever since. That's cute. He's hey, been talking to me. So. Can you back up prior to Japan? What happened? Because we saw that before and after picture. You, uh, you've lost a little bit of weight. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Prior to Japan, you know, I, was, uh, I wasn't the healthiest guy in the world. I had terrible eating habits grow growing up. I, had, I, mean, I was about 315 pounds, you know, at my highest mm -hmm. throughout school. I, I just, I was completely unmotivated, you know. And after my success from the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships, I started getting more motivated and thinking that I can do anything. Mm -hmm. So I lost the weight and then I started having bigger dreams of traveling the world. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do in New Zealand? New Zealand, uh, well I'm flying out in three days and uh, I'm going to hitchhike to the very northern tip of New Zealand uh -huh. and I'm going to start walking. There's a trail called Te Aurora which is a 3,000 kilometer, about 1,900 mile mm -hmm. uh, through hike and I'm going to go from the very northern tip of New Zealand to the very southern tip. Wow, anything <laughs> you're going to do differently to prepare for this trip? Or? Yeah, you have to take it, yeah, you really have to take this one seriously, I tell you, because Japan and New Zealand are roughly the same size, but Japan having 125 million people versus New Zealand having four and a half million people, mm -hmm. you get the same size, a 30th of the population. So there's going to be a lot more backcountry that I'm going to be walking mm -hmm. through versus mm -hmm. highways and towns. I'm going to have fewer resupply points. So I have to take Mother Nature seriously. I have to take this trail seriously. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you account for things like wildlife when I mean, you, you don't know what's coming your oh, way? Yeah. Well, Japan was quite scary because northern Japan is bear country. So oh, <laughs> I was always on edge right, during sleeping that. with one eye open. Oh, yeah, walking with both eyes open and singing while <laughs> I'm walking, right, right, making sure there's noise. no bears around me or anything. Um, New Zealand's not like that at all. It's the exact opposite. The, there's not much wildlife. The only thing that is a threat is maybe a herd of sheep. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Yeah. So where are you going next once you get past New Zealand? You've already started to plan your next trip. Yep. Uh, I plan on crossing Australia. Um, mm -hmm. Granted, I'm focused on New Zealand right now, but my plan yeah. is to go from possibly Sydney to Perth wow. along the coast, which is yeah. about... 3,000 miles or and so. And beautiful so. country too. Strawhatbackpacker.com oh, yeah. is your website. Mm -hmm. yep. How'd you get the name Straw Hat? Straw Hat Backpacker, um, it's a reference to a show that I really love about a guy following his dream while wearing a straw hat. Mm -hmm. He crosses the oceans and explores new worlds and that's how I like to see myself. I'm a dreamer. Mm -hmm. I love to motivate people to chase after their dreams as well. Well, you are walking the walk, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. exciting to see. And if you would like to keep up with this trip to New Zealand, you're welcome to plug in on Facebook. I don't know how you update that from like the middle of New Zealand, but maybe Wi-Fi here and there. You can You're do in it. There. Uh, thank you and all the best. Hey, thank you. Yeah, we'll see luck. you again. Oh, maybe yeah. in between you your next year. Oh, yeah, before <laughs> Australia. That sounds yeah. good. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks, buddy. No worries. All right, we can